He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Yeah, even if we didn't hurt anybody, it wouldn't have changed much because on Dutch's end, he's still trying to brainwash Eagle Flies. Hey! I wanted to see that. 67% my ass, no way. Oh, frick, no, 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 no. <laughs> Recover the relics without being detected. Recover the relics within 1 minute 30 seconds. When you do this for, like, achievements and stuff, do you have to do both of them within one time? One try? Because without being detected, within 1 minute 30 seconds seems kind of hard. Where are we now? We've left the reservation. Oh, craze. Run. The veteran's homestead. Hey, Hamish. I'm back here again. But Captain Monroe's looking for me, isn't he? Mm, well, just continuing off this, maybe we should go there. I'm not too worried about the yellow mission stuff right now because we still got Micah here and Sadie here. It's just that this is not a place that we can fast travel to because there's no towns nearby and we're pretty near it right now. I think it would be worth it for me to... Um, Try to do this right now. Especially since we've been helping rains fall anyway. Want to read the journal a little bit though? If I can? Let me read the journal, man. Went to see the professor at his lab. He had built a sort of mechanical sun. He seemed to think it was amazing, but we could not get the thing to work properly. I was not half as impressed with him as he was with himself. Ah, <sighs> burdock root. Found a fella caught in a bear trap a while back. Decided on a whim to save him, then bumped into him in town. Guy gave me some store credit as thanks. Guess it sometimes pay to help pays to help folk out. Only sometimes. Again, doing Mayor Lemieux's dirty work. I think that's how it's spelled. His first name is Henri. Oh, <laughs> only he spells it Henri. Guess my French is nearly as bad as my English. Now I was threatened into threatening a newspaper man into donating to the noble cause of truth and learning. I had to make this guy support a library. He didn't want to. Then he did. <laughs> Old blackmailing Lemieux has himself been threatened by his own assistant. A chap I never liked too much. Name of John Mark, I think. So I go hunting for John Mark. Only John Mark is a noble believer in truth and honesty and cannot stand his boss's lies. I'm charged with killing him. I cannot do it. John Mark is irritating, but the mayor is worse. The mayor is all that is bad in those who would rule over us and it ain't my business at all. So I let him live and let them deal with it themselves. I guess I'm through politics with politics. Oh, that's gotta be Gorma. It ain't John Mark, it's Jean Marc, you fool. And he's now the mayor. I guess that's good. The Mew's done for. We did not write in the journal during the whole Guarma thing. Cause we didn't have that kind of time or pen or pencil, nothing. Maybe we'll write about it afterwards, but um nothing in the moment. No, oh, Hosea Lenny. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. The bank job we planned so hard was a goddamn setup. Hosea got himself killed, and Lenny got shot in the head. Marston got himself arrested, and is awaiting trial. We fled, leapt on a ship, sailed into a storm, and the ship sank. Whole thing is like a dream, like a fool's nightmare. I survived that, and being lost at sea, and got washed ashore on an island called Guarma. Whatever Tahiti is like, I hope it ain't nothing like Guarma. Some nasty bastard name of Fusar had the people by the throat, and we ended up in a fight with a goddamn army. Javier nearly died. I nearly got killed. Met some real decent folk, brave folk living in a land of hell. We got a boat out of there, just about, after some real nasty fighting. Don't think I met many folk deserved killing, killing, more than that piece of shit Fusar. 
Upon returning, found the folk again. At least, Thumbas ain't dead. But within a few hours, the Pinkertons had found all of us. Old Agent Milton, once us dead and yet somehow we survived and are now planning another escape. Not sure what happens now. Holding has been hard on all of us, most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we've gone through. I save that for next time. Okay, my girl. We should get around to Penelope sometime too. She's so far though. All right, girl. By the way, did you notice? During the mission earlier, we're bonding level four with Agro now. Yeah. Wonderful. Really gotta eat though, my god. Just look at this. Look at all my cores. Yeah, the big piece of meat is good for my cores. How far away is this gonna be? Quite a little bit. I will see you there then. Howdy there, stranger! Howdy! Hey, that's a nice looking horse you have there. Bet it ain't faster than mine though. Ariel's my pride and joy. Why not a race to Calumet Ravine? Where is that? You? Sure, let's race. Alright, let's race! Okay, I don't know where that is. I'm actually right outside the reservation too. Gosh dang it. Hey, mister. I even got time to say hi to people. That guy's completely lagging behind. <laughs> God, we're not even on the same level. Hey, that's because Agro is one of the fastest horses, right? Thank you. We haven't been here before. Oh, our first time. Gotta be careful not to trip though, because that's gonna cause a huge delay in time, and that guy has cut some corners and caught up to me. Nearly. Not quite. We're okay. I don't think I even need to take a horse stimulant for this. Maybe. Am I getting further and further away from the ravine? <laughs> or are they the reservation? Oh god. He's getting close behind me, but I don't hear him at all. So I think he's not actually that close. Look at that! A one! Yeah! <laughs> what happened to you? Huh? All that stamina training! For nothing! That's it? Not a bad race. Maybe another time. Next time, friend! Next time we'll get you. You can write that down. Bye now. Bye. We didn't. Oh, we didn't do any money bets. We were just sort of like, hey, wanna race? Okay. But apparently we can bond with horses faster now. That's good. We're not too far away from the reservation. Idiot. Okay, so while I was riding here, I think I did something pretty bad. I uh, I saw that Agro was kind of hungry, so I fed her. And it's said that she ate the English mace. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Rain Falls wanted me to make an herb thing out of that, but uh... Whoops! Whoops! Maybe we can find more English maces somewhere, but um... Can we actually make an herb thing? How do you make an herb thing? I don't know. Captain Monroe! Captain Monroe is one of the good ones. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. 
Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? <sighs> Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. Uh, Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Anything we do can start a war. So, this Colonel Favor, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. And I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws. But I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Because he's got nothing to lose. Oh, being discreet is not really up my alley, but I'll try my best. No stealing army wagons. Okay, got it. Oh, we got some nice tall trees in this area. All right. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. I'm guessing we're still in the reservation lands right now, or no, we should be getting out. Because there's army wagons here, with the vaccines. Easy! <laughs> okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. You mind if I brush my horse a little bit? She's dirty. Mr. Morgan, please. I want to show you which way we'll be coming. Yes. Yes. Quick as you can. It will be passing through soon. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, 
I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, <laughs> good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Sneaking, huh? If we cause, like, a roadside disturbance or something, they would have to stop. Hold on. Um, I don't want to shoot anyone from afar. We don't want to kill people, so we gotta catch up right now because they are leaving. Earlier, when Arthur was like, Why don't you just tell people in Washington what a what an idiot Colonel Favors is? And I'm thinking, well, Arthur, why don't you tell the rest of your gang what an idiot Dutch is? Same deal. Okay, they're looking... Yeah, they're looking in front. They're driving in front. Oh, I threatened them. Hold it right there! Whoa, you better put that down right now. We'll open fire if we have to. Gonna need your cargo, fellas. Are you insane? We're the United States Army. That's it. Shoot that bastard already. Already? Shit. Was it possible for us to. Um, hmm. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. I thought that they might have backed down, or maybe it's better for us to just freaking get on the cart by force. Can we not do that? I can't jump on or anything. Okay, let's just get in front. Wow! Oh my god! Aggro! Hey, settle down. Wow! They weren't having it! <laughs> Alright, that's yep. it. You nearly killed my horse. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Maybe yeah. if I didn't piss them off, I could jump to their wagon. But I did, so. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just make it clean. Hey, I lost my freaking hat. You people. Okay, we gotta hurry. Sorry. I know, I know. I know. I'm losing a ton of honor for doing this, but I'm doing it for a good cause. How would you get into this otherwise? catch up and jump into the wagon without being noticed. Good thing we have a lot of honor to make up for all the stuff we're doing now. We good? Okay. Let's dash. Let's dash. Are you okay, aggro? I thought they would stop for me, or... Well, I didn't really give them time to stop. Because <laughs> I was right in front of them. It's not like I was maybe 100 meters away from them. I was right up in their face. Do we gotta go back right away, or... Because I see some houses and stuff here. But yeah, I think we do. Oh, I'm really sorry, Captain Monroe. That didn't really go quite the way I wanted it to. I get the feeling I'm gonna probably be failing most of these discreet missions. <laughs> Which is pretty Arthur style anyway. Let's face it, he was never a stealth kind of guy. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. A confrontation with the soldiers was not a good move. No. Nope. You would think it would be okay because we're talking to them, right? But nope. Army people aren't used to being threatened That's by anybody. Especially not an outlaw. Hello, Captain Monroe. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. But I got the vaccine, and that's what really matters. Right?
Captain Monroe? I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Using our banditness to do good things. That's new. No, I didn't do it discreetly. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Now Trelawney seems to want to ask for me. Okay, girl. Are there any more side missions around here? Doesn't seem so. Just the one with Penelope. So just in case if that one's a multi-stage quest, we should get to it now, shouldn't we? Wow, that's really- that's literally across the entire map. Meanwhile, Trelawney is waiting for me back at the camp. Micah's also waiting for me, but who cares? Sadie is in Saint-Denis. Where is the closest place I can fast travel to? Well, I can go to Rhodes, but where can I go to Rhodes from? Here. Bachu Station? But there wasn't... yeah, there's no town there. Fort Wallace, we still haven't been there yet. No. I guess we're going back to Valentine. Holy crap, it's been 20 years. I think there might be a mission around Strawberry somewhere. Maybe I'll have a look when we get back there too, but uh... Okay! Look at all that black smoke. And the big wagon of coal there. Oh my goodness. Industrialization was a mistake. Apparently, we can still do stagecoach robberies. It's okay, though. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, partner. How do you do? I do very, very good. All right, we're gonna head over to Penelope now. What did Penelope need help with again? Oh, frick. Follow up on Penelope's letter and help her and Bo escape. Oh, it's actually surprising that they're still going here. Their families... Both of their families are in big trouble and yet... They're still going strong. Ah, that's nice. Young love. Now why am I going that way? When the thing points me this way. Yeah, I can just go straight down there. Down the Braithwaite Manor again. Which means we gotta be careful again, because those workers are gonna be there. Again. But we can just go straight- oh gosh. Can you make it past? Yeah. Yep. Get up. Good job, aggro. Yeah, you good, girl? God damn. Drunk horse. Couldn't pay no attention. It's a shining on the ground. Now, so, so over. Damn it. You okay? You there? Yeah. Would you watch my cargo here while I go find someone to deal with this? Sure. I guess. Thank you, sir. Yeah, and then this guy's gonna fall asleep, right? We know the pattern. Boss gonna be sore on this tomorrow. <laughs> Unfortunately, can't pick up the pocket wash because we already. Money for what? I think maybe you should be sleeping this off. Poor horse. I'm watching you, friend. You better get help. He's gonna find the nearest tree and just sit down, I know it. 
Won't you watch the wagon like I asked? Okay, I'll watch you from afar. Pretty rude. Not watching my stuff and watching me. Definitely something in that pee. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I still remember that first time. I was waiting there for so long. Yeah, well. He's not gonna go get help. Sorry, dude. Hope nobody robs you and you wake up in time. And there's no way for him to... Um, we can't wake him up. If we try to, like, shoot him or hogtie him, I'm sure he'll get scared. Yep. So let's just leave him alone and get going. Okay, we're back at the Braithwaite's again. Who knew? After all this time, we'd still come here. Pretty sure there's nothing in the manor for me, though. The body's gone. Everything's gone. Yeah. Ooh. You're just some dead Oh god, no. No, Penelope's investigating. What the heck are you investigating? I didn't do anything. Trespassing? Okay, I'm gonna leave. They can't find anything if I'm gone, right? What are they gonna report me to the police for? I didn't do anything. Come on, please. Witness to what? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought we were gonna have to kill him again for witnessing what? I don't even know. Yo! Easy. Is he coming? Okay. What the hell? Oh my god, go away! Dude, do you love working here that much? Just leave me alone, I gotta go meet with Penelope! Forget about y'all. Oh! Okay, we really gotta be careful here, because there's a whole ton of people, and... They're not gonna take too kindly to me... Trying to get to their princess here. Doing okay, aggro? Well, the stamina goes down really fast because swimming is not, you know, of course, it's not meant to swim. Yep. Oh, oh, you came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her! They killed Miss Calhoun! All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Suffrage okay. lady? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters! If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo. Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on, let's go. Of course. Is it more liberal and free in Boston? I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay, let's try and get you a train. Oh. And Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. 
I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watch me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah, as far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? There are worse. He's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to laugh. He, he's a lot of things, but... <laughs> <laughs> Not strong like you, but strong enough to stand up to his family, to be different from folk. You don't know how hard that can be, to say something is wrong when everyone around you thinks it's right. No, perhaps I don't. Uh, he is a good man, and he's lucky. You're both lucky to have each other. This could be the best day of my life, or the worst. I can't bear not knowing which. Hold on. It'll be clear soon enough. I really hope, for your sake, it's the best day of your life. the train with us a little just to the first stop fine what there it is yep that's the word in town you want me to ride with you guys come on you guys got to be a bit more independent you came <laughs> you came at <laughs> last you came oh, Bo, my sweet my best of men <laughs> oh hardly a man at all but I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. <sighs> Sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Ooh, Money. Some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. You're paying me back, right? What is he looking at? Three tickets to San Denis, please, sir. Hello. Of course. <sighs> oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey, cousin. Uh oh. No. Hey, come no, you slow. Penelope, get back. Oh. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You don't want to come back here without giving you a weapon? That all they I'm pretty good at this now. We should have done this last time. Get on the train. Go to your wolf. Ooh, this guy's bigger. Mm. Ow. This guy's tall. There was nothing. Arthur, please get off. Lord, I gotta deal with the guy first. You got him. Quick, come up on the train. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Just got a bloody face is all. Oh, look at my face. Almost. Almost. <sighs> all right, all done. 
That is quite a family you got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah, well... How to life. Oh, my lord. What? War! Oh, I think it's my second cousin! What is <laughs> with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. We gotta protect the other jewels. passengers, too. Whoa! They're coming from over the hill. You must have a... all the jewels in the state. The amount of your cousins is here. Hold tight, all right? I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. I'll drive, obviously. I have a license, don't worry. Driver! Driver, we're in the clear. Time to start this train again. Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister. <laughs> Let's see now. Accelerate. Ring a bell for no reason. Use a whistle because we can. They should be paying me for this. Are there any situations where we want to stop? Do I have to worry about that? It's a freaking train. We should be okay. There's no traffic. Or there shouldn't be. Everybody, get out of the way. We gotta go to Fort Riggs. That's not Saint Denis. I was hoping you'd actually take me to Saint Denis because Sadie's waiting for me there. Oh my god. No! Oh! oh no! Are you crossing? Don't cross, okay? Please. Get away! I got a bell, and I'm not afraid to use it. Goodness. Fort Riggs feels like an eternity away. Agro's been following me the whole time. Oh, you good horse. Good horse, you. This is cinematic. <laughs> Can't even see what's in front of me. Are we there yet? Oh, I think so. You can see it. Look at this pollution. Nasty.
This isn't Fort Riggs? Oh my god. How far away is it? What the heck? We were going to Saint Denis. Where are we going? We're going near freaking Blackwater almost. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's keep at it then. Are you okay, Agro? I hope so. There wasn't really space for her to um, catch up with me. I remember this bridge. It's where we caught Reverend Swanson when he was wandering on the bridge. That was a lifetime ago. And Reverend being drunk. Owing money to the poker people. Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. Yeah, you guys need the money more than me. You don't even have a horse. I couldn't take it. No. Let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Mm -hmm. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Well, <gasps> Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! I thought he was asking because we might run into more Braithwaite people. Oh, frick, man. I keep doing that. We might run into more Braithwaites and Greys, but no. He, he was scared that the stage guy, the driver, would steal from them. Headshot five Braithwaites. Or complete it within 7.30. Mm. 